if you ever needed an example of why the self-build quad and RC hobby needs protecting from regulation, this video is a great starting point. Hey everyone, my name is Sean and welcome to Geeksvana. As most of you are aware, I am a camera drone or GPS drone flyer. Despite my recent purchase of the DJI FPV drone, I'm very much a stabilized flyer. So sometimes the importance and vital nature of the self-build side of the hobby doesn't hit home. Occasionally, I am provided with a jolt, a reminder of how innovation and progress isn't something which needs to be attached to a profit and loss column. It isn't an incremental increase in specification from a global brand, giving your mobile phone extra pixels or your drone a slightly longer flight time. Innovation and progress doesn't even necessarily have to have an outcome in mind or a target. Before I go on, take a look at this video from Quadmover, showing his project with a 64 prop blade setup. Amazing. This video really affected me at a core level. So much so I reached out to the creator of this device to chat with him and he kindly allowed Geeksvana to show this video, which there is a link in the description to the full video and Quadmover's YouTube channel and Instagram. Whilst chatting to Quadmover, we discovered other multiple blade builds created, including this six blade prop build almost five years ago and this eight blade prop build two years ago. Now the creator himself would not claim this to be innovative, new or particularly beneficial to quad flight. This is a project born of a what if, I wonder, can you type of attitude that is the lifeblood of the self-build hobby. The creator commented about the 64 prop blade setup. The only advantage is having a nice quiet quad. The increased prop drag and the weight is negative for performance in case of this specific setup which is intended for a five inch three blade props. If you compare the video to others with the same setup but with three blade props, you'll see that it is way more sluggish, unresponsive, and it already looks heavy by the way it moves. It doesn't mean many blades are bad in general. I've also made a very different setup with a light quad with an eight blade prop, which performs awesome. I'll be posting a video on this on the 20th of April. So. What does this have to do with innovation and progress in the wider RC and drone hobby, you might ask? Well, it is the countless people tinkering and building, often on a passion project with no real intended result, trying and failing, then returning once more to an attack, an issue or solve a problem. This is where the innovation of the self-build hobby can be found. Also, when I talk about innovation and progress, I'm not just talking about the RC drone hobby, but the wider technology sector. So many innovators who have experienced huge success in their field, from space exploration to the mobile phone in your pocket, talk about their fascination when younger of building things and wanting to know how things work. The self-build hobby has always been a fantastic outlet for this. You only have to look at the BMFA flying fields up and down the country to see many passionate self-builds from 3D helicopters to highly detailed scale models to faster and leaner race squad to see the level of innovation happening every single day to help those individuals achieve their goal. Anyone who watches my channel regularly knows that I am certainly pro-regulation. If that regulation ensures the safety of the hobby and means we can continue to fly our hobby drones long term, then I support it. However, we have to be careful not to regulate the innovation, progress and frankly fun out of a core part of the hobby, which without its existence would mean we wouldn't have many of the technological advances the GPS drone has enjoyed. We need to protect and ensure future generations can find this great hobby and unlock a passion for engineering or show them what they're capable of. So as a camera drone community, next time we hear our self-building friends talking about the regulations and how they're starting to threaten the access to the hobby, please listen. The more hurdles you put in front of someone enjoying the hobby, the less people will engage and the less future innovation and progress we will see. To the regulators of the world, I would say this, 
I understand the need for regulation and there have been good and bad progress on the road to what will inevitably be a shared sky with more and more commercial drone operations. However, please take your responsibility to protect the self-build hobby seriously and look at ways to ensure its future is bright. I can see the valid reasons behind ensuring more and more capable camera drones, the like of which I love and fly, need to be kept within appropriate use. However, please do not let the push for this and the wider integration of commercial drones in the sub 400 foot airspace further clip the wings of the self-build hobby. We all need to realize what we have and protect it together. That's it for me today. Huge shout out to Quadmover for allowing us to share their awesome footage and passion for the hobby. There are links to the videos mentioned today and their social media in the description below. I highly recommend you go follow them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Wow.